Yves LeBay. Well, Calgary knows there is mixed martial arts royalty in the building tonight. Thank you, Brooklyn Wren. And of course, I'm talking about that man, Jose Aldo Jr. As he draws Jeremy Stevens tonight in the co-main event here on Fox. Favorites are eight and one are ready? thus far tonight. Ready? Couple picking Fight. fights in there as well. And with that touch of gloves, we are underway. Tonight's Fight Clock is sponsored by Mile 22, starring Mark Wahlberg in theaters August 17th. Jeremy Stevens in the black trunks. Jose Aldo in the yellow and green of his native Brazil. For all that Jose Aldo's accomplished, he comes in as the underdog, and that tells me that people underestimate the greatness of Max Holloway a little bit, because Jose still, still seemed powerful. He still seemed fast in those fights. I just think that Max Holloway is easily the best fight, not easily, but the best fight in this division, and it showed against Jose Aldo. And him coming as an underdog for all he's accomplished. I know Jeremy's look great, but Aldo still looked like Aldo in those fights. Leg kick for Jeremy Stevens. There is no denying how good Stevens has been during this current run. He's put all his trust in Eric Del Fierro, Nick Piedmont, Dominic Cruz. And the seminal moment really was after the Hanato Moicano fight for Stevens when he sat down with Dominic, had a long conversation, and at that point, Shortly thereafter, committed fully to Alliance MMA and a nice land knee to the body for Stevens. Jeremy's throwing those leg kicks. He said, he said, I can out leg kick Jose Aldo if I need to. He feels he's just a much better mixed martial artist than Jose Aldo. It's just taking some time for him to get this level of fight. This is the first time in Jose Aldo's UFC career that he is scheduled for a non-title fight. First three-round fight of his UFC tenure. It's crazy that these guys are both so powerful and they're both pretty flat-footed just standing in front of each other. It's almost like wait for the dynamite to explode between these two. Right. Stevens continues to faint. Otto trying to land the right hand on the way out just out of range. Nice uppercut from Jose Aldo. Phone booth fighting now. Jeremy Stevens is willing to take one though because he feels that when he lands, he lands so much harder. I think he heard him. Yeah, he heard him. Oh, and up back up from Stevens. Good head movement from Jose Aldo, but he didn't oh, get touched. That uppercut just landed. And now Aldo returns fire. What a first half to the opening round. Hey, this is how you fight Aldo. You make him, hey, you test his ego. This is what Max said. You test Aldo's ego, and this guy's a fighter. He's going to stand and train with you, because that's what he does. Pretty significant cut under the right eye of Jeremy Stevens. We'll keep an eye on that. It would have been smart for Aldo to try to get a takedown, maybe go to the clinch. But instead, when he was hurt, he just started swinging for the fences. I think he's got a little bit of respect from Jeremy Stevens, though, because now Jeremy's letting him walk him down a little bit. Maybe, that spinning yep, maybe Jeremy's just waiting for the next explosion, J.A. Good overhand right from Jose Aldo. Followed it up with a left hand shortly thereafter. That head movement, man. Top for Aldo, missed with the follow-up left, but split the guard nicely there, did Aldo. Oh, nice right hand by Jeremy Stevens. Jeremy's much better when he's the one going forward and going first. Oh, oh no! That oh, got no. Stevens' attention! Oh. Jose Aldo to the body! What a body shot by Jose Aldo! Stevens trying to rally to a oh, here in DC. What a body shot by Jose Aldo! And he still wins it! Jeremy still wins it in pain! Stevens in a world of trouble here. Yeah, but Jeremy's doing a good job, though. He's holding the hand and showing the ref that he's still there. It's over now. That'll do it. The king of Rio is back. Jose Aldo. Wow. What a body shot by Jose Aldo Jr. And that should mute the doubters. The consensus greatest featherweight of all time pulls off Jeremy Stevens and gets the round. Yeah. 
back in UFC history. He was hurt. He was hurt. But he went back in there, got back in the fight, and then once Steven started letting him dictate, he eventually found his shot. What a body shot. And in his prime, we saw him throw that punch constantly and follow with leg kicks. What a performance by Jose Aldo Jr. Jeremy Stevens immediately contested the stoppage. We'll get back to that in a second, but it seemed to be the right decision by the referee. Move of the fight. Sponsored by Metro PCS. Get knockout coverage of the UFC on a network that covers 99% of people in the U.S. You saw Aldo just kind of slipping those punches by Stevens. Right there, he went right body shot, left body shot. Jeremy could not hide the pain. Hey, it's that liver. It happened earlier, and what did we say? It shuts your body down. It does not matter what your mind is telling you. Your body shuts down, it's over. Now look at this. Once Jeremy goes to his belly there, that's the position of the fight's over. I believe the referee made the right call. You can't roll to your belly there and take unanswered shots. I know it wasn't many, but it was enough to stop the fight. Great job by Jose Aldo. And somewhat remarkably, just his third UFC finish and his first stoppage win inside the octagon since August of 2013. Jose Aldo Jr. Dealt this man at your own peril. A huge result for the former two-time UFC featherweight champion tonight. The celebration is on in Brazil and beyond. We will talk to Jose Aldo after this as we continue live. Back live in Calgary, Bruce Buffer inside the octagon to make this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 19 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by GKO, Jose Aldo Jr. The king of Rio de Janeiro, Jose Aldo Jr. runs this town tonight. Congratulations on an impressive performance and a huge result for you tonight. First in Portuguese, Brazil. Fala galera do Brasil, muito obrigado pela torcida. Valeu, Femus Burro, todo mundo lá, o Varada. Tamo junto, Brasil, te amo. Isso aqui é selo nacional. Pode ter certeza, Roger. É, cara, eu tô muito feliz aqui lutar no Canadá. É um prazer imenso. Foi aqui que eu comecei minha carreira no UFC. Então tô voltando aqui para recomeçar de novo. Thank you everyone in Brazil. I'm very happy to be here. I started my career in Canada, so I'm really happy to be here. What a response from this crowd as you walked out here tonight, and certainly you produced for them. I know you're very emotional after the fact, your first finish since 2013. What did you prove to yourself with this performance tonight? Você terminou em 2014, luta. Como que tá indo desde lá? É, então, é... Eu tô tentando recomeçar de novo, acho que eu venho lutando em cima de uma coisa que eu não podia errar. Acho que o Jeremy me deu essa oportunidade, muito obrigado. O Jeremy Stiff é um cara muito duro. E eu vim com o fio na navalha ali, eu falo sabia que I didn't have to make a mistake, so I could lose the fight. Thanks to God, I could connect a good shot in him, and that's how I end the fight. I was a little bit worried to lose the fight, but I was practicing a lot and really excited to be here, so I'm glad I pulled through. You are the consensus greatest featherweight of all time. This is another chapter of your legacy, but I know you want your belt back. How soon might you return, and what is next for the great Jose Aldo Jr.? I know that you want to get the cinturon back. What are you doing to get there? É, então eu estou de novo, né? eu acho que eu voltei agora, agora estou de volta, o campeão voltou, agora é manter ainda o caminho aí, a gente está sabendo o, o Holloway, para mim é um grande campeão, merece ser o campeão, está é, passando pelo ano de dificuldade, então espero que ele volte e assim eu possa ter uma nova chance com ele ou qualquer outro que venha a arredar o título. The champion's back, I just gotta keep it up. A legend rises again. Ladies and gentlemen, your co-main event winner, Jose Aldo Jr. A performance by the great Jose Aldo Jr. They could not have hoped for a better result. What an amazing job by the team of Noble and Yao. And Coach Pettineris and everybody else, congratulations, guys. It's great to see a legend right back in the spotlight where he belongs. Great job, Jose Aldo. Getting a little emotional in there, Jim. Yeah, yeah. Jose Aldo Choked getting up. it done in a big way tonight in our co-main event. Watch straight ahead here in Calgary. It all comes down to this. The underground king, Eddie Aldo.